He's a great friend, a, a great comedian, soon to be your pal, Mr. George MacDonald. <laughs> What a crowd. <laughs> Mike McDonald, your host, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you guys have been well paid. This is great. <laughs> I haven't been this excited since I got out of that Turkish prison. This is great. <laughs> you guys, well, you, had, you survived the holidays, I see. Survived Christmas. That's, that's nice. Christmas. Uh, kind of nice to get it over with, you know. Christmas, Christmas is fun till you're 10 years old and you realize, I have to buy other people presents? <laughs> <laughs> Whose idea was this? <laughs> cabbage Patch dolls, big Christmas gift. Tell the truth. Have you saw a human being that looked like a Cabbage Patch doll? <laughs> it's a troll. Get that little sucker away from me. <laughs> Go swap clothes with Gary Coleman. Get out of here. <laughs> cabbage Patch doll. I'm going to stand in line five hours to pay big money for a synthetic midget? <laughs> Come on, I was born on a weekend, but it wasn't last weekend, please. <laughs> Cabbage patch doll. Ooh, do I get a pet rock and a mood ring, too? <laughs> uh, yeah. People make such a big deal about Christmas shopping. I never let it bother me. I go down to the mall. I have no idea what to buy anybody. Get depressed, get frustrated. Hey, buy three things for myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what you get for Christmas? Mm, everything I wanted. <laughs> it's great. <isn't> it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta have a system. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, I don't know. I'll tell you what I'm really gonna miss about Christmas. That Dick Butkus Sports Illustrated commercial. <laughs> Do you suppose we could see that a little more often? <laughs> think of me as a teddy bear with muscles. No, let's think of you as a fat guy who used to play football. <laughs> nice haircut, Dick. Lose a bet? Come on. <laughs> what do you comb that with? Firecrackers? Gee. <laughs> New Year's Eve, a lot of fun. New Year's Eve, I like New Year's Eve. Lots of fun, doesn't make sense. People get all dressed up to go out on New Year's Eve. <laughs> Honey, we're going to go out tonight and drink more than we do for the entire year. <laughs> Say, where are my good clothes? <laughs> Hand me that brill cream. I won't look the berries when I'm passed out on the sidewalk. <laughs> Ooh, look, Pierre Cardin. <laughs> I quit drinking, quite honestly, I did. My judgment's bad when I drink. I wear contact lenses. I've had about five drinks. See my eyeglasses on the dashboard of the car? <laughs> Think to myself, you know, if I put my glasses on, my vision should be twice as good. <laughs> Took the fire department six hours to cut me out of the wreckage. It's tough. I my judgment's bad. I go drinking. I meet a girl who looks like Bo Derek when I'm drinking. <laughs> Wake up the next day. Somehow Stella the Swamp Witch has broken into the house. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, honey. The ruby slippers are right outside. <laughs> Didn't know if I should cook her breakfast or throw her a milk bone. Who knew? I don't know. <laughs> Muskrat love. I kid you not. Hey, don't get me wrong. I'm no bag of toys myself. I know that women wake up at me, they always say the same thing. Mm, I've got to start being more selective. <laughs> Hopefully in a much higher voice than that if I'm having any luck at all. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Quit the drugs, too. No booze, no drugs. I, oh, I'm too paranoid when I, oh, I smoke a joint. I get up on stage. Why are they all looking at me? <laughs> I smoke a joint, everything becomes a conspiracy. See you later, have a nice day. Have a nice day? What did he mean by that? The only thing smoking a joint does for me makes me a careful driver. Not a good driver. <laughs> Just a careful one. <laughs> Doing about three miles an hour in the breakdown lane. We're not hitting anything, are we? <laughs> Elderly couples passing me. Move it, will you clown it? People give you advice when you're stoned. Sounds like a good idea. You know, George, you ought to shave your head. Get in that Mr. Clean Lookalike contest. <laughs> Do you really think so? <laughs> Wake up, bald head, pierced ear, feel like an idiot. <laughs> Things happen when you're stoned would never happen if you were straight. Yeah? Walking down the street, stoned out of your mind, trying to make a big decision. <laughs> I don't know, pretzels or chips? <laughs> oh, it's just one crisis after another. Out of nowhere comes your third grade school teacher. It's like, ooh, what's she doing here? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Reading my favorite paper today, the National Enquirer. I like the. I do. I like the Enquirer. 
They never let the truth get in the way of a good story. I like that. <laughs> Had a good story in there. John Hinckley's getting married. Did you know that? John Hinckley is getting married to a woman he met at the insane asylum. <laughs> Isn't it nice when newlyweds have so much in common? <laughs> Gonna be a small ceremony. They're just inviting the people from hydrotherapy. I think that'll be nice. <laughs> How'd you like to be the caterer for that clam bake, huh? <laughs> Big ice sculpture of a straitjacket. <laughs> Wedding guests wandering around. Are you friends of the bride and the groom? <laughs> So long as those kids don't elope, I don't care what they do. <laughs> Bob Barker was in the paper. Bob Barker, the host of The Price is Right. How many people knew this? Bob Barker, the host of The Price is Right, has a black belt in karate. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is. <laughs> I think that's hilarious. <laughs> Can you imagine getting beaten up by that guy? <laughs> Not only does he kick your ass, he makes you get back the washer and dryer. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing you know, they'll be telling us Monty Hall is a ninja. <laughs> number three. <laughs> Bert Carnaby into kickboxing? Where will it end? I don't know. Just... The Night Stalker was in the paper, too. They caught that guy out in Los Angeles, the murderer of the Night Stalker. I was glad. I was surprised. I thought it was going to turn out to be Darren McGavin. Who knew? <laughs> when they were trying to track the guy down, they talked to Dr. Joyce Brothers. She said, clearly, the pattern of the murders indicates the man is looking for the family he never had. <laughs> family he never had. This guy wouldn't fit in with the monsters. Come on. <laughs> Talk to doctor. Well, actually, what bothers me about this, these people, they say, well, let's put the guy in jail, rehabilitate the man, and channel him back into society. <laughs> oh, let's chip in, get his teeth capped. <laughs> Maybe we could get him a guest spot on Love Connection. How's that sound? A, yes, Chuck, I'll take all three. <laughs> He talked to his father. His actual father said he attributed his son's psychotic behavior to smoking pot and hanging out with a bad crowd. <laughs> How many times have you smoked a joint with the guys and had that uncontrollable urge to wipe out an entire apartment complex? <laughs> I think it goes without saying. Winter time. I'm not into the winter. Oh, they try to make winter sound like fun, don't they? Well, the weather outside is frightful. <laughs> no shit. That's why we're in the house. <laughs> Let it snow, let it snow. Here's a song written by some guy who owns a plow company. Come on. I'll tell you one thing I like about the winter. Yeah, people don't worry about their weight, you know. Summertime, everybody has to look good at the beach. Wintertime. <laughs> hey, where's the lasagna? <laughs> Somebody get me the birthday cake. Find me a snorkel jacket. I can't go out like this. <laughs> I'm getting fat. I can tell. I break a sweat when I'm dialing the phone. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Forget those setups. Hand me those donuts. I don't care. <laughs> I'll put my bathing suit on with a shoehorn before I give up carbohydrates. <laughs> fat people are good people. They're honest. You can trust fat people. Hmm? Why steal if you can't run? <laughs> Why run if there's no place you can hide? <laughs> He's over there behind that battleship. <laughs> People are cruel. What do you do when you see a fat guy jogging? <laughs> Wendy's is that way, Slim. <laughs> Slow the car down. We're going to torture the fat guy. <laughs> Circling him while he runs. <laughs> Trying to tip him over with the grappling hooks. <laughs> I hate these people who judge how you're doing in life according to how much weight you've gained or lost. You know these people? They're so rude. They come up and tell you, hey, you're getting fat. <laughs> I'm getting fat. <laughs> you're getting ugly. <laughs> I can always lose weight. <laughs> How about these people? Oh, you know, oh, I don't know. They try to... It bothers me. I'm not... I, I'm getting fat. I can tell. Yeah. yeah. They try to be diplomatic. Say, are you putting on weight? No, I'm wearing thicker clothes. All right? <laughs> hey, listen, you guys have been great. I hope you had a couple of laughs. Thanks now for left. Look at your host. Thank you. George MacDonald.